In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a floating horizontal bar chart. And you can see here, it will show here the hours, the time the person would be supposed to sleep, and the waking time here. And it will indicate here quite nicely also the, the amount of hours the person has been sleeping. So let's start to explore how we can create this nice floating bar chart. In this video, we're going to focus on how to make a horizontal floating bar chart in Chart.js. And this question came from one of the Chart.js groups, so I don't have any uh, place to show you. But anyway, well, we're going to focus on this, and so we're going to start immediately with this. So what we're going to do here, first of all, make sure you go to Chart.js3.com, getting started. And you might notice this, for some reason, my Google Chrome gives this error. Anyway, we're going to copy the default code in here. Let's copy that, and once we did that, we're going to paste it in here. I'm going to cut this out, and then we're going to put that in here. I'm going to save this, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. So then what I want to do here, well, we refresh this, and there we are. Let's convert this now into a horizontal bar chart before we can make it a floating bar chart. So we're going to scroll down here, and in here, to convert this into a horizontal bar chart, Below the options, we're going to put in an enter, and then we say axis, uh, or sorry, index axis, which would be the leading axis, will be now equal to y. So if I save this and refresh, you can see now what happens basically, instead of putting the labels here down, we say, please put the labels on the y axis, and then we have this nice version here. So the next thing what we need to do is we need to create a floating bar chart style. So in here, we have to play around with the data here. So I'm going to put this away or comment this out and then we start with the new data. So in this case, we're going to use the floating bar chart and we're going to work with hours, basically sleeping hours. Of course, we have to be basically very cosmetic with this. And this cosmetic, I'm referring to the appearance. If you look at the chart, it looks like it's that, but behind the scene, we have just calculated it's just basically visual. And this is the only way to do it. So let's start to work on this. So first thing here, and you will understand later on what I mean, because we will have the chart supposed to have 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. This is the target that we want. 6 p.m. till uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. All right. So that was supposed to be here, and that will eventually have to be shown here. But we cannot do that here because these values would counteract on each other and the reason why is because six if, we, if this will be six or even 18 uh, hours military time and this will be of course 10 so we have a conflict here so how do we solve this and we cannot use timing as well because we have a very consistent structure so for this I'm going to use a trick and that's the trick you have to use here so we're going to put in here just a value so let's say if the starting point would be six this would be six and that will be 10 a.m. And this is 6 p.m. And someone will sleep somewhere between those hours. So we can start here with 0, and then comma, well, 15 or 14, I guess, in this case. Copy this. And I'm just going to paste this multiple times here. So we have 7 times. And afterwards, you will see, the, once we pro progress, you will see exactly what I'm referring to. And let's say here, imagine if this for 0 will be 6, and imagine we will sleep at 10 p.m. So we need to do this plus 3 or plus 4, some of like this. So somewhere at that time, we're sleeping most of the time. All right. And here, we wake up here, not at 10. This could be anything. So uh, if it's 10, there will be a 4 hours earlier. That would be, instead of 10, it's 6 o'clock. And then uh, you can see here, well, we can just put in here for not 10. And then this one is 9. And that one is 11. And this one is 12. So right now, if I just save this and refresh, uh, all right, so let's see what's going on. Am I missing a comma? Yes, I miss. Um, you can see here, put a comma here, save that, refresh. All right, so we have this now. We have this one that sleeps from the entire length, and then after we have all this floating here, but of course we can change that. What I want to do is just to reduce the colors. We only have one single color I'm going to use. Let's remove everything here, put it in there. And then I'm going to do here exactly the same, and put that in there. There we are, save that again, refresh, there you are. So what I want to do now, because you can see this border skip here, that is absolutely hideous, so we're going to solve that as well. So we have this here, we put a comma here, and then we say border, 
skipped and we use a default setting set on true so because the reason why is because normally the bar chart is also attached to the axis on this side of the axis or at the, at the x axis it depends on of course if it's horizontal or not depends on this setting here so then it will correlate with which one should be shown but now in our case because it's floating i want to set this on false meaning that we will always see the full bar lines of the the border lines everywhere all right so now we have this the next thing what i want to do is the border radius and this border radius is basically just giving us uh let's say a 20 20 pixels so we say border radius 20 pixels save that refresh now we have the nice shape that we want all right so we're almost done here we have now the weekly sales and the weekly sales is now of course this is just hours of sleep and this here because this was the issue how will we put dates in here if you have dates and time and, hour, and with time i'm referring to the hours you cannot show them because date or for example a specific date and time are identical what i mean by that is one hour in a specific day so those are basically parts they are just the same so you cannot measure the same with the same so this is very important that's why we are making here a cosmetic structure and what i mean by that is 24 hours equals one day so that's why the date and these hours they have to be done in this structure so what we're going to do here then is the very next item oh what i want to do is just give you these uh, dates so i'm going to say let's say um oh it's almost december black friday has been done so 1 december 2021 or we can just say this we don't need to put in the year it doesn't make any sense we're going to assume that that's a given fact so i'm going to just paste these in here there 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 and there and there put this on 2 december 3 december as i said this is just cosmetic for the eye of the viewer it will look like it's a unique chart but you know better because of the structure here all right so we're almost done here six and seven and finally we have seven two eight save that refresh there we are so now we have this here of course we're not yet done because look at this our tooltip looks absolutely horrible we're going to fix that one and of course this here doesn't make any sense so let's play around first with the legend i'm going to or sorry not the legend the uh, x-axis scale so we're going to play around with the scale and in here we have the scale already so i'm going to put an enter say x and here put a comma and then in here what are we going to do well let me explain what we're going to do we're going to change first of all the specific step size here i want to show every individual step size and afterwards we need to convert this into hours this is very important so uh let's say here ticks and in the ticks here we say step size and this step size equals one if i save this now refresh it would mean now every hour is being shown as you can see here now we start to get somewhere closer all right so we have this the next thing what i want to do here is but well, we have this but we can force you how many we want because you can see here this would be 14 and well i'm not sure i think 10 is even 15 hours if we start at six six to that that will be 15 hours if i'm not mistaken and even if we don't have so let's say we don't sleep till 10 maybe we sleep till till 12 only here or this number here what will happen is our scale is adjusting I don't want this i want a forced amount of length in the, in the scale there was a request because we want to be from 6 pm up to 10 am so we don't want the scale to be flexible we want to force it so it's a comma and then what you're going to say here is the following or we're going to do it in the x we say min value and the min value will be zero which would be basically the starting point then we have the max value and the max value let's let's grab 15 i thought it's 15 so we're going to put in 15 save that refresh and there we are so we have 0 to 15 always fixed all right so we did this part let's convert this now into hours so to convert it into hours we're going to work in the ticks here and this is very important we're going to play around with callbacks and callbacks is basically we're going to put in a value or what it does is basically when it's here it gets a value but before it calculates it it will do something before to get the value itself well sounds all complicated but 
all this just make a callback. We type in callback here, and then we say here the following. Since this is a callback function, we don't have to type in your function, but we can say here the value I want and the index. But then what I do is here an arrow. This is basically our function or a function expression. Normally, would you could say also this, then remove the fat the the what is that the not the fat arrow. I think that's also the same term, but the arrow function expression. However, these days they recommend ES6. This is a better way to do it. All right. So now we have this. What I want to do here, just to make sure, let's show these here. So we have an understanding what is going on here. Console log, and then we're going to grab here the value and then save this and then refresh. Open up the developer tab. All right. You can see now something's happening here. Don't worry about this. We are still not done, of course. That's why it is right now triggering. So what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to look here and you can see here these are some of the information here. Right now, probably it is the value or the label itself. So if I grab here something else, or maybe we can even grab here not sure if we can use this. Let's save that and refresh. All right. Do we, does it allow? It does not really allow. All right. Fair enough. We don't use this one. Or if we do the index, save. Do we see that as well? All right. We have this one here. Fair enough. I guess they're, of course, they're same. I realize why the value and the index are same because right now our numbers are just from 0 to 15. So that's why we have here 15 items. So what we can do here is just to do a calculation. So what we're going to do now. So what we can do is just work on it. Basically what I want to do is the following. Just think about it. We have this all these numbers here, which is basically also the index and the uh, label number are exactly identical. Well, what I want to do is here, I want to just this plus X amount of hours. And how many hours do I want is basically this here. Well, it depends here on our value here. So 0 would be equal to 6 p.m. And 10 or 15 or 12 or no, what is that? I think it's 15 would be equal to 10 a.m. However, let's try and look what it will get. So in here, what I'm going to say is the following. I'm going to say here, I want to grab the value here. I'm going to say return, say value plus 6. So if I save this now, refresh. All right, so we get these numbers here, but of course we're not done. We're not satisfied yet because look at this here. We need to figure out what happens here. And next we need to have AM or PM as well. So let's do that. So what we can do is the following. We have here, we just make an if statement, a very simple if statement. We will say if the value, whatever we have, uh, what we can do here is we can calculate that. I guess that's probably the best. We can say here let hour and we can say here the hour will be well we just make it blank and then we're going to use this because we're going to make if statement and we might use this multiple times so basically we just keep it in here and then after that we will just update it as we get depending on if statement so what we're going to say here is the following if and then we say here hour uh, is uh, smaller than 12 in this case what I want to do is the following I want to grab here well or this should be basically of course the value sorry this plus 6 I realize that we don't need that we need this hour we need but we need maybe also a let hour label and that one will be blank so we don't have to do any calculations afterwards so we say this all right so we get this hour they will compare so if it is below 12 12 midnight in that case our label will be equal and then here back ticks so I'm going to use a template literal so I'm going to use back ticks back ticks are just below on your escape button on your keyboard and then we're going to say the following here uh, what is that we're going to say we're going to grab the dollar sign because we're going to grab the value, which is the hour, and then of course we want to say PM. So once we have this, that's the first statement. The next one, and this is now you understand why I put in here the hour, because we don't have to use here multiple, time, multiple times let. We can say here now, it has a, I'll just copy this one, put it in there, and then I say if, well in this case, if it is beyond 12, 
and I will leave 12 later on because 12 will be midnight so I'm going to use that special item then I, what I want to do is the following I want to say here our hour will be equal to hour minus 12 and the reason why is because we're going above or beyond the value as you can see in here so 13 should be 1 a.m. in the morning so we need to deduct 12 and then so we're going to say here that will be this so if I save this now and refresh all right sorry and the reason why this doesn't work of course is we need to return here so return our label and then we're still not done with the 12 so I'm going to save this but I just want to show it right now there you are so you can see here now we have this but this shows you p.m. let's solve this make it a.m. save that refresh there you are now we have this final one is midnight so we can just or we can just make an if statement here if our equals strict 12 in that case I will say here our label will be equal template literals well basically the same like this is exactly identical except I'm going to say here instead of a.m. I will say midnight just to make sure this is very very useful as well all right so we have this now we can save this and refresh and there we are so now we have this and I realize here we're missing an item it should be 10 so we, because we're missing this I want to solve that with our item here max ticks 16 hours so if I save this now refresh there you are from 6 p.m. up to 10 a.m. all right you got this now what I want to solve is the final item which is basically this one here you see a December and then this here basically the or the December that one is fine but I don't like the hours of sleep is 12 or 0 12 this doesn't mean anything what I want to grab here is how many hours did we exactly sleep which is basically the 12 value so we want to indicate that so in here in the skills well let's see here we can just do it here in the options I'm going to put in here enter and when I do this enter I'm going to type the plugins and put a comma here and then make sure here we're going to say tooltip and let me say here first of all what I want to do is you can see here this if I hover over it here we have these tooltip items I like to point them up so we're going to say here Y align and the Y align will basically be set on bottom so if I save this now you will see it will work if I refresh as you can see there you are so now the align is at the very top so all right so now it points uh, to the bottom so you might say white bottom well basically it's really focused on the carrot which is the triangle here down in which direction it points and basically it points like that down all right so once we have this let's focus on the real important part and that is the tooltip text so we're going to do here and we're going to change this label in here and we're going to call it a well this is what we call a callback but this one instead of saying callback here without the s tooltip has callbacks with s and what we're going to do here is basically the following we're going to say here this callbacks well we focus on the label because we want to adjust the label text here and then we can say here the following we get the context and the context and then we're going to say in the context let's do a console log just for the context to understand what's in there so if I do this and save this refresh now if I hover over you can see of course nothing happens the label is disappearing however look at my console log we get the information we get a lot of information here so we can control now what we want and basically all I want was you can see here the raw data which was the numbers of our item which whichever we hover over but I just want to grab here in this case specifically the the amount of hours we sleep so I guess for this one if I go here and then I go scroll down here to the bottom you should see here the value will be on the X value if I'm not mistaken 12 and that is correct because if you scroll up here 0 to 12 and this is 0 or the y is 0 and the x equals 12 meaning the 12 points here yes and y 0 of, and the reason for the 0 on the y axis because it is the first index all right so we're going to grab this x value and let's see where was that exactly to look and if you hover over this you will see here a tooltip if I don't move if it doesn't work or 
if I move over now on you will eventually see there you are okay it's just only parse but what I need is parse dot x that's the object value I need so basically if I say here dot parse dot x save that refresh and now if I hover look at it we get the values we want beautiful so this here indicates a certain value but then I realize that this might not be 100% accurate am I correct if I sleep 12 hours on this that will be a problem so what we need to do here is most likely to calculate the difference this minus that all right so I guess instead of what I first grabbed that one is then not what we want because let's go back to the parse save this instead of the parse hover over it I'm going to show you then the other option is that the custom no I don't want the custom or custom might be as well I think save that let's see here I guess custom was same as well so we can go to custom or we can go to raw one or the other if you go to custom what we do have here is a starting or I guess this is fine starting and ending value you can just grab the these two and deduct them from each other if I go for example this one scroll down here the raw basically here the raw is same as well we can just get the raw we do uh, this is the first value at here the beginning and then the other one the number one is the ending value so we can just say the ending value raw equals raw one minus raw zero and then we'll get the exact value so to get this we say here raw so let me say raw one and what I will do do is just save this for now all right we get these values beautiful so the next thing what I want to do is let's say raw zero and then I'm going to comment this out save that we can see here there you are all right so all of these are four so that's why this looks like same fair enough so final item uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to get raw one minus well zero save we should get here the exact amount of hours we sleep that works so now what we can do here is basically a return and the return will be also I'm using a template literals here again so back tick back tick then I'll say your total hours of sleep I guess I'll just a shortcut fair enough dollar sign and then what we're going to say here is basically this here but of course this must be now a constant constant I will say hours or hours of sleep equals this remove this parentheses here hours of sleep put it in here save that semicolon here save that again refresh and there you are so the total hours of sleep 12 6 etc etc so we could do here of course you can customize this to anything you want and if you change this into something else is seven so you will sleep at seven so there you are so what is very important here because this is the only tricky one basically these numbers are not ours so you have to convert them to get it visual because as I said before it's a cos cosmetic trick here so this would be the best way to do it and this will create eventually a very nice design so if you want uh, for example what will happen if, if this would be expanding here to the very much very end this is very common I've seen it on Facebook as well and then we we'll start from here and then we'll continue on here you can do this basically uh, let's see here let's put a very high value let's put this on 17 if I save this now refresh you can see it goes beyond and that's all right but what will happen then of course you could continue on here if it would be from 24 hours in segments so that is basically everything you need to know regarding this if you want to still customize your tool, if you don't like the squares, you don't want, don't, you don't like the date here up because maybe the date should be the uh, December one. That's the day they sleep. In that case, I would highly recommend you to watch one of my other videos about how to add more information in the tooltip in Chart.js. Covers everything what you can do with the tooltip.